Hi guys, I hope you're all good. So, I'm just going to go straight in with this reading. I've got a strong energy here because the song I heard for you today was by 5050 and it's called Cupid. So I definitely feel like you've been shot by Cupid's arrow and I'm hearing this is like, it's like a telepathic energy that I'm picking up on here. So you've definitely been shot by Cupid. I'm hearing Cupid's arrow has hit you more than once. I'm hearing several times. It's coming from a person that you have a twin flame bond with. That's what I'm picking up here. I definitely sense like an energetic sort of energy here. Like this person, you know, they keep popping up in your energy field, popping up in your dreams. But I definitely feel like it's like at the end of the dream, something goes wrong in the dream. That's what I'm picking up here. So you're left feeling stupid. You're left feeling confused. You're left not knowing what to do next because you don't understand the dreams. That's what I'm picking up on as well. So you may need some sort of dream interpreter. That's what I'm hearing or dream interpretation because I definitely see you know, a strong divine union here that is meant to come into fruition. I definitely feel like you're someone who has been hoping, wishing, praying, connecting with your twin telepathically. That's what I'm picking up here. You're definitely healed. You definitely follow, you know, the rules of the twin flame journey. That's what I'm hearing as well. I definitely feel like something's blocking this connection. Something's hidden here. Something you don't know. But I definitely feel like you feel this. You feel like there's some sort of wall between you and your person. Some sort of, I'm hearing, escapade here. So someone could have done some sort of work on you. I'm just going to keep it real. This is like, you know, magic. I'm picking up on black magic here. I'm hearing Santeria. I'm hearing root work. Someone's definitely playing with something here. And I'm seeing someone in this picture with a book of spells here. So I definitely feel like someone could have a book of spells and they're playing with magic to block your divine connection, to stop you from moving forward with your person. Because I definitely feel like you're ready to step into that energy. You could have been, you know, telepathically communicating with your person for about two to three years now. You've done all the learning you've done all the healing you know you've just been waiting for this person to come towards you you're definitely some sort of creator here that's what i'm picking up on as well you're divinely guided divinely protected but someone keeps fucking with you that's what i'm hearing here i feel like your angels are fed up i'm hearing pissed off with this energy keep coming at you keep blocking what's already promised to you whatever prophecy you was delivered by the most high you know it should be coming into fruition by now that's what i'm hearing but someone keeps playing with spell work someone has a book of tricks here someone you know is going going into this divine connection and playing around with it messing it up they could be making you feel like your person's running from you and you're chasing them or the opposite or they could be making something bad happen just before you're about to sort of come into union with your person. I definitely feel like they're sending some sort of bad spirits around you so they could be energetically attached to your aura i'm hearing that as well you keep hoping wishing praying that the most high clears this energy that's what i'm hearing or you're hoping you know you're going to meet this person i definitely feel like this is a wish this is a dream of yours and you have very high prospects when it comes to this connection you you know you you're sort of it's like you're in anxiety you 
wish that you could have this person with you, you wish they could hold you, but something's stopping them, something's blocking them. What I'm seeing for four here, I definitely feel like, you know, you're divinely protected too. Your angels are pissed off. If you look at these cats' eyes here, these cats are angry with this person, keep throwing spells at you, keep putting you on a constant sort of merry-go-round. I'm seeing a windmill here, Holland, Amsterdam could be significant. I definitely see that your crown chakra is lit right now. Your angels are protecting your crown. That's what I'm picking up here because I definitely feel like someone keeps trying to block you from this communication. They keep trying to stop you or both of you from coming together. That's what I'm hearing as well. But I'm hearing miracles are about to happen. I'm definitely seeing like spirits coming in to protect you, spirits coming in to help you, spirits sort of throwing this, you know, demonic energy into the abyss for you because I'm seeing a lot of water here and cleansing your energy and this is constant, that's what I'm hearing here. I definitely feel like your protection's up but you may need to wear more sort of spiritual protection protection like black tourmaline i'm hearing black onyx and black obsidian is very significant to you right now that's what i'm picking up here they may want you to you know not have faith in yourself not know your worth not believe that this connection is real as well that's what i'm picking up on too but your connection is real i'm sensing a female energy who is overly envious of your connection Connection. They might know or have heard of, you know, your connection coming into, you know, to union and they've done something to punish you or they're trying to change the course of your life so that you end up in misery, I'm hearing, in poverty, with no real true love. They want to hurt you, that's what I'm picking up here and I keep seeing female energy here who's very jealous of you. This could even be a family member or someone connected to a person that you used to be with, I'm seeing in that as well i definitely feel like this person keeps constantly trying to hurt you this is consistent sort of practice this could be a witch or a high witch i'm hearing that as well who keeps playing in your energy constantly you know trying to fuck up your life this person's breaking rules when it comes to the divine here because everything that you are ordained to receive in this life you know is from god it's divine it's real it's true i definitely feel like your angels are protecting you in the spirit realm so you may wake up at random times like 5 a.m 3 a.m I'm here 2 a.m. in the morning. Even if this is to go to the toilet, you realize that you've just been woken up out of a bad dream here where you're being shown this blockage, like you're being shown something, you know, bad happening in the spiritual realm just as you connect with your twin in that realm that's what i'm picking up here so i definitely feel like you know to keep some sort of protection up at night do you prayers ask god to protect you in the spirit realm you know you're definitely someone who travels the astral realms a lot that's what i'm picking up so this could be your job or this could just be that you're good at astral traveling i'm seeing that strong here and you definitely have free will to choose if you want to be with your twin or not and i definitely feel like you do but you're waiting patiently for this connection to come in but this person keeps creating some sort of blockage i'm seeing like a deep demonic entity attachment as I said being attached to you to sort of block this connection from your life here or 
from coming in i'm hearing your light as well so you know they may be blocking your light so your twin can't connect with you or can't see you for who you truly are which is definitely someone royal i'm hearing someone loyal true divine you've done the work that's what i'm picking up on here and i'm not saying you're perfect but you're perfect to your twin that's what i'm picking up on here i definitely see a lot of emotions here like you know you keep trying to like you know think to yourself should i forget this connection is this connection real you know is something sort of stopping this connection of people you know telling your twin flame things that are bad about you to stop you from coming into sort of you know union or is this a psychic attack that's what i'm picking up on and psychic attacks are heavy right now especially if you have calm people still in your energy field exes or you know people who are but hurt and here and trying to you know take you out in the astral realm as well i'm seeing that as well they definitely want to end you or end things or end any sort of communication or you know love that's what i'm hearing they want to end the love that you have for your person they want your person to turn away from you and lose their feelings for you because i feel like this has gone on for a long time you may feel like your twin keeps running from you and you're chasing them or they're chasing you and you're running but this is all magic this is spell work because the two of you genuinely do love each other look at this this is victory here this is someone who's heading towards you because you're innocent you're pure you're true you're sovereign i'm hearing you're royal you're independent you've been single for a long time but there's this narcissistic energy here who wants you to stay single wants you to stay stuck wants you to be sad here that's what i'm seeing as well but i definitely see that they're being blocked from fucking with you your dreams are showing up for you even if you're scared of them even if you think you know what's this dream trying to tell me your guides are showing you what is actually blocking you in your dreams from your twin and i sense the energy of like erraticness like you have a lot of stressful sort of people around you at the moment or you're someone who's trying to sort of help everyone who's under some sort of stress i'm seeing that as well so definitely see a lot of love here between you and your person not only have you sort of cleansed your energy within you cleansed your energy outside of yourself as well you've cleared up people places or things that do not serve you you've released and let them grow go you've definitely grown that's what i'm picking up here as well there's a lot of growth when it comes to your abundance i'm definitely seeing a large tree here like you started to grow it from a seed and this tree is like as tall as you now you've grown that tree of success that's what i'm hearing you have a lot of love support fans sort of people who love you like you these could be people you don't even know so you could be on some sort of platform here and you're helping a lot of other people to heal from their wounds but as you look back you definitely can intuitively pick up that someone or something is blocking you blocking you and keeping you stuck here stagnant in a stalemate energy and you don't understand why because you've done the work that's what i'm hearing and you're not really receiving any sort of communication from your twin you're not sort of you know coming into union with them you may keep you know thinking is this even real is this you know what god showed me he could have showed you your life in a dream or in a vision of the future 
and it's not sort of happening, it's not coming in for you. And there's a reason, it's because someone is either paying for spell work with the ace, with the knight of pentacles, or they're actually doing it. That's what I'm picking up here. But I feel an energy of, you know, what you do will come back to you. I'm seeing a merry-go-round here. So you might have done some sort of return to sender here. And now this person's starting to feel the pain or they're starting to sort of lose everything now, their cells, because that's what they've been doing to you. Make you have nothing but losses and burdens, but that's gone into reverse. It's gone back to them. It's returned to sender. I'm seeing 10, 10 and 7, 7 is significant. So you might keep seeing those angel numbers. That's what I'm picking up on here. And you may be in an energy of, you know, moving away or moving forward that's what i'm picking up but you don't know whether to carry on with this twin flame connection because you don't know if it's real or fake or false but i'm getting it's true it's real it's just that someone from your past continuously keeps blocking it keeps putting some sort of energy between you both so that you cannot sort of connect with each other you're here something's blocking you and your person's over there so some sort of energy needs cleansing here that's what i'm picking up on here you need to continuously cleanse your energy i'm hearing florida water is significant here so you know using florida water or you know seeking some sort of help outside of yourself this could be a shaman or some sort of reader or you could be a reader yourself that's what i'm picking up on here and i'm hearing pull cards on yourself even if you have you know that strong intuitive sort of energy pull cards on yourself and see what's going on here because I definitely feel like you sense it, you feel it, you're picking up that someone is blocking you from moving forward because they have some sort of animosity, I'm hearing anxiety for your future. So you could have glowed up quite a lot. You've been working together with your twin flame for some time. That's what I'm seeing. And I definitely feel like Archangel Michael came in to protect you here. I definitely see strong protection from him. You could be in some sort of force as well, like the police force, or I'm seeing some sort of, you know, this could be the army, the military sort of energy here that I'm picking up on as well. And you're just focused on work at the moment, but you do want to connect with your twin flame. You do try as much as you can to connect with them. And you meditate a lot and connect with them, or you sort of, you know, you send in love, positive vibes to your twin quite a lot i'm seeing that as well i definitely see an ex person in the window here who keeps stalking plotting planning watching you this could be a woman with the child i'm seeing that as well this could have been your child they definitely you know they don't want you to connect with your person they don't want your angels to be helping you they don't want you to receive anything that's what i'm seeing here no offers or bad offers or they want you to be rejected they could feel rejected by you or they rejected you once so they want you know i feel like this person has destroyed your whole life after walking away from them they could have ruined your family ships your friendships your sort of you know whatever it is they've ruined sort of everything you had or they want to ruin everything you had here but god said no with the emperor your person still wants you still loves you there's nothing that can break this divine connection nothing can you know detach this connection from your energy you cannot cut cords with two divine partners and no matter what they do they will keep you know 
going back to whatever they do it'll keep going back to you then because you're heavily protected with the armor here i definitely see you have spiritual armor on you're surrounded by spirit animals you're definitely connected to god i'm hearing am and ra i'm hearing toot and car moon energy and you have like rams or balls in your energy field that are constantly you know returning to sender for you or doing some sort of you know returning spell work for you i'm also seeing some sort of spider web here like they've got you caught up in some sort of web continuously and that's all you know returning to sender to that's what i'm picking up here because you're still single you're still abundant you could be celibate right now working on your inner self constantly cleansing and healing yourself that's what i'm hearing and that's something this person didn't want you to do or achieve here they definitely don't want you to have anyone or anything i'm seeing that as well and they want you to sort of confuse your messages from your person if this is telepathically they're making messages come through wrong so they could be trying to tamper with your crown chakra so that you don't receive the correct messages or they're just doing things to keep you in a low vibration they could be trying to hurt your feelings quite a lot they could be just you know keeping you in an energy of feeling stuck sad low lonely or in an energy of emotions where you're constantly you know tearing up that's what i'm hearing here so there's a lot of tears being shed here they definitely don't want you to open your heart to anyone new here with the ace of cups in reverse i feel like they want your abundance to be in reverse but your twin flame strong that's what i'm hearing here your twin flame stronger than ever and they keep defeating this energy and coming back to you i feel an energy of someone just cutting through ice and grabbing you again and again rescuing you or putting some sort of barrier around you of protection here because they sort of know what's going on here they're definitely protecting your chakras trying to help you to stay grounded or encouraging you to sort of find peace inner peace remain calm grounded and focus on you that's what i'm hearing here because i feel like you know your chakras are protected but if someone's doing some sort of work to tamper with them your twin flame is sort of cleansing them and opening them back up for you so your twin could be a reiki master or some sort of healer that's what i'm picking up here and they're definitely constantly trying to heal you and help you to get back onto your sort of shit like your job or your work here i'm hearing your work ethic is wild here so you're definitely someone who's very sort of ambitious you're constantly trying to make it in life i'm seeing that as well and this is all with the help of your twin that's what i'm picking up on here I definitely sense, you know, whatever bad dreams you're having, they're just revealing what's actually happening to you so that you can sort of help yourself or cleanse your energy more regularly. Use crystals at night time, pray a lot. I'm seeing a lot of praying here is significant, being grateful and gracious because I definitely see this sort of high witch energy is definitely very dark and disturbing they don't want you to have fun either they don't want you to celebrate they don't want you to go out they don't want you to enjoy life and that's all going back to them with the death card here they could have done death spells to try and kill you that's what I'm hearing as well and they're being blocked from this also I'm also so here in return to send and what you do will come back to you and i'm hearing tenfold so this person could be actually you know 
ready to have some sort of serious sort of I'm here I'm seeing that energy of death here so this person could have some sort of accident or you know some sort of death experience whether this is a physical death or a spiritual death this person is getting theirs back that's what I'm hearing I definitely feel like your guys are trampling on your enemies whoever's messing with you you are spiritually protected you have such an innocent vibration to you that's what I'm picking up on here and whatever losses this person keeps trying to do to you is ultimately you know going to you know reoccur in their life because you are highly protected your twins protecting you archangel michael's protecting you your spirit guides your animals your angels are surrounding you so this person you know they cannot get one over on you that's what i'm picking up everything's returning to them that they had planned for you and your king is waiting patiently for you they're definitely watching you grow online that's what i'm picking up here they're definitely watching you release and let go of toxic people places and things and if you're surrounded by any bad people they're urging you to release and let them go i definitely see that they see your growth here at the top but you have a long way to go that's what i'm picking up on here but this person is loyal to you they will wait and wait and wait for you that's what i'm picking up here and i'm hearing i'll wait for you so Aaliyah could be significant i definitely see a lot of secrets are about to come out or there's a lot of secrets you don't know yet that this ex person is about to get a lot of sort of karma for here so i definitely see that you know you don't deserve these sort of you know i'm seeing sleepless nights anxieties worrying about whether you're coming into union or whether you know your life is just falling apart whether you should give up or you know they're trying to put you in a depressive state where you you know you don't know what to do anymore you don't know whether to carry on with your life that's what i'm picking up on here this is all returning to them that's what i'm hearing i definitely see that they're constantly spying on you as well trying to get information so try not to gossip try not to talk about you know your connection don't let anyone know about it that's what i'm hearing as well you may see keep seeing blackbirds or ravens as well and that's a strong indication that spell work is being done on you that's what i'm hearing as well i definitely feel like this person is coming to the end of their sort of karmic contract with you here because you've changed you've evolved you've elevated you've ascended to a higher sort of place here you definitely you know risen I'm hearing your Kundalini energy. You've definitely risen your sort of level when it comes to your chakras here. And I'm seeing karma coming in for this magician here who keeps playing with the divine connection. And I'm seeing fatality with the devil card in reverse here. They try to bind you to them, keep you stuck you stagnant they may have moved on themselves but you're still in the queen of pentacles at, sorry you're still in the queen of one's energy here so there's nothing they can really do to block you anymore that's what i'm picking up because god keeps giving you your power back and they're ultimately killing themselves that's what i'm picking up here this could have been someone who cheated on you you know they had some sort of third party and this third party energy is binded to them as well that's what i'm picking up on here this person is definitely altering frequencies sort of changing sort of the course of your life here they're constantly doing that 
that but you know they're going to regret it that's what i'm seeing here look at all the blood spilt look at all the trouble they've caused they've done all this in the astral realms in secret thinking that you'll never work it out you'll never find out you'll never know but you know because your angels fling those arrows straight back at them that's what i'm hearing and god won't allow this to sort of come between you and your twin anymore you're definitely both free spirits you've both done the soul work you're both about to come into union in the physical realm now you've done all the hard work you've passed the test you've you know you've been through it all that's what i'm seeing you both have and you both protect love worship you know you're just divinely connected to one another and this is so sacred and special this reading like you know this is like a once in a lifetime energy i'm hearing one in a million here once in a lifetime yeah this sneaky character thinks that they're funny they think that they're hurting you but they're hurting their self here because i definitely see that they're about to walk off some sort of cliff here like the only way out is for god to release them or take them out of this world because they will not stop they will not leave you alone they will not let you live your life the way god you know ordained it to be that's what i'm picking up on here they're truly playing with the divine connection but this is a very sort of high status divine connection like you know it's on the level of jesus christ the mary magdalene energy that i'm picking up on here so you know this person can no longer get away with what it is they're doing because you have strong i'm seeing like native ancestors here surrounding you always sort of looking out for any sort of dodgy energy here and anything that's trying to block or stop you and they're constantly clearing that up which is pissing them off that's what i'm seeing as well they're taking these swords these arrows away all the time this is frequently and they've had enough so they're definitely going to push this union into you know into the physical that's what i'm seeing i'm seeing your wishes and dreams coming true because your destiny was altered by someone and this is a devil energy a very demonic person here who continuously tried to stop or block you from having success a happy family money i'm seeing gold here they tried to block that while messing with your home your children your life as well i definitely see that god is going to give you a home land family children success you know real wish fulfillment that's what i'm picking up on here so you're definitely the empress and you know god chose you for this you was born for this you were supposed to go through this but you know this person didn't realize that every time they threw a spell at you it actually made you grow here with these trees in the background you've grown you've elevated you've ascended to like i'm hearing christ consciousness here you definitely you know have that anchor energy that protection over your life and over your union so you cannot be killed in this life and you cannot be stopped when it comes to your physical union i just feel sorry for your twin not like trying to help you but not knowing 
if you love them or you want them or what's actually going on with you but they're definitely trying to show you in the dream state so that you can sort of help yourself protect yourself and move away from these evil people who constantly hurt and harm others this is like the devil this is like satan lucifer energy i'm picking up on here who is ultimately going to lose their life for playing with you okay i'll just pull the the lovers and the towers in reverse as well so there's nothing that they can do to block this connection it's already happened it's already been sent back to them they put their self in that tower that's what i'm hearing so don't worry or fret about this person's karma because they're definitely about to receive it they played with their divine connection ordained by angels ordained and protected by God. You've got Archangel Michael in your energy field and you have strong connections to Egyptians as well with the pyramid energy in the background. You are sacred, you are protected, your energy is of Christ. That's what I'm picking up strong here. So there's nothing they can do to stop you no matter how many spells, no matter how many blockages they put between you you both still climb this this mountain this pyramid you both still listen to your guidance and your angels and they love you i'm definitely seeing growth here and i'm seeing a union about to come in i'm seeing nothing but the sun here and i hope this message helps you i hope you know you receive your person you put the work and you deserve you know to be together and nothing can stop or block you no matter what this person does they're ultimately fucking their own life up here okay so i hope this message helps you if you'd like a personal reading my details are in the description box below if you'd like any sort of you know zen reiki healing or returning to senders work i can help you so please email me okay so bye guys